Hello there, Leo friends. Welcome to your full moon partial lunar eclipse reading for July the 16th. My name is Myra and welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. If this is your first time coming here, clicking on the videos, welcome to my community of love and light that we are building slowly, but surely we are literally almost at 300 subscribers. We probably are at this very moment. And so for every 100 subscribers, you guys, I raffle off a free 30 minute recorded reading. So all you have to do to enter the drawing is to comment and subscribe and I add you to the drawing. It's that simple, Leo. Okay. So thank you guys for stopping by. This is going to be a quick, a quick, um, reading just to get guidance um, with the full moon in Capricorn tomorrow and the partial lunar eclipse. It's a great opportunity to release things that don't serve us and to see what's coming towards us, to be intentional about what we want our lives to look like. And so that can <clears throat> be done in a number of different creative ways. One way that's really simple is just to literally just write down, Leo, what it is that you want to see for yourself long term, like what long term sustainable happiness looks like for your life. Um, and then the moon energy may bring up things from the past, uh, past issues, people, we are in a Mercury retrograde. Um, so people could come back from your past thoughts about things. A good way to know if something is ripe for release <laughs> is if you hear a person's name or if a subject is brought up, it's the thing where you're like, don't talk about that. It upsets me too much. That's a thing that can be blocking sometimes the great things from coming into our lives, Leo. So that's a good thing to hold up to the light for healing and say, you know what, Holy Spirit, you know what, God, I really want to to give this to you. Like, I, I want to be free from it. I don't want every time I hear so-and-so's name for it to bother me or there are certain subjects that are off uh, limits, certain subjects or topics that are off limits because it makes me too upset. Those are areas in need of light, love, and healing, you guys. And so think about those areas that you want to release. You can just write them on a piece of paper and then tomorrow as an act of release, throw them away or burn them up or something like that. And then also have maybe a list of things that you really want to see for your life. Um, I think one thing I might do tomorrow is update my vision board. Um, even if it's with two things, like I'm one of those people that perfection is the enemy of progress. Like I'll have, I'm like, oh, I wanted to look like this. I get all into the creativity, but it may just need to be one thing, one act of here's what I do want to see for my life. This is what I want to have. Okay. So with that being said, Leo, your first card was creative project. This is all about us, our fire energy. I'm a Sag. But there could be a creative project that you're working on, you want to work on. Put the details of that up, Leo. It says your soul longs to express itself uh, express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life. So if some of you have been feeling a little bit in the doldrums, Passion may have gone out of the window. It's a perfect time to reignite it by working on a creative project. And then <clears throat> underneath that was blessing in disguise. And it says what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer, Leo. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. All right. That looks good. All right, Holy Spirit. So can we find out for my Leo friends, what is it that you want them to release? What should Leos release tomorrow during the full moon energy to bring in their creative project? What are they releasing? What are my Leo friends releasing? Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. So the nine of Ariel, this is um, Pentacles energy. So it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It is 
Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. And then the king of pentacles is right there. So some of you may be releasing a uh, affluent um Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, someone who looks like they have success, they have it all together. Um, it also could be changing professions. Like maybe you were in a you're in a job that is very stable and it's very um yeah, a very a really stable job. It could be related to environmentalism or something like that. And you're like, okay, or you could have gotten released from a job that was like that. <clears throat> But there's something beautiful coming in. And it, because of the blessing in disguise, that's what made me say maybe somebody was let go from a job. But um, And you're like, no, this was really good. It was good work. But maybe there is a more creative profession that you're going into or something you're going to be working on that looks like a mistake or a downer, but it's actually going to be the good thing. So what's coming in for my... Leo friends, Holy Spirit, when they release this nine of Ariel or nine of Pentacles, what comes in for them? What is coming in for my Leo friends? All right, Leo. So seven of Ariel is patience. This is a seven of Pentacles. So it's like, okay, you've invested wisely. You've planted some seeds. Um, you're looking at your progress and seeing what's next in your future plans. Look at this, the sun. Oh, Leo. Yeah. Which would you rather have? A nine of Pentacles or the freaking sun? <laughs> I would say the sun, something that makes you happy, that makes you completely fulfilled. Oh, that's beautiful. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and an inspiring success. A, it looks good to me. I love it. I would much rather have the sun. And look at this, the ace of sword, which is a brilliant idea. It's a download of a great idea, Leo. So yeah, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. That's what this seven of Ariel is about. So even if you switch and there's a little bit of, of a lull there, don't give up because you guys have the beautiful sun coming in. Anytime, you, and this is, I'm preaching to the choir. Anytime you switch careers, anytime you switch professions, doing something different, there may be a bump in the road, right? There may be a pause or something that gives you pause, but it's okay. It's going to turn out great. It's still a great idea. Beautiful. Clear up any communication problems that you have with others as well, Leo, okay? All right, you guys. I'm excited for you. Take advantage of this full moon energy and this eclipse. That's the Mercury retrograde. Okay, so let that go. That mundane, routine sense of security. Pursue your creative project. Get guidance though, on the timing of it. But I feel like within seven weeks, seven months, there's a harvest that's going to come up and it's going to be a bright, sunshiny day. Love you, Leo. God bless.